CBF A1 gene anomaly is seen in and the options are cleidocranial dysplasia, achondrogenesis, chondrodysplasia and Marfan syndrome. So let's have a look at the genes that cause mutations according to the uh, pathologies given here. Cleidocranial dysplasia, the gene responsible is run X2, RUNX2 gene which is also known as CBF alpha 1 gene okay which is the one which is asked in question so the correct answer is this one but we will still discuss all the options because uh, there is a variety of questions that can be asked on these lines and there are new conditions here now achondrogenesis is caused by COL2A1 gene okay and it can also be caused by FGFR3 gene these two genes then chondrodysplasia is caused by three genes it is of three types. We will discuss about them in detail. First is PEX7 gene. Then we have GNPAT gene and AGPS gene. And lastly, coming to Marfan syndrome, it is caused by FBN1 gene. Okay, so these are the genes responsible for each of them. Now let's have a look at these conditions one by one. First is cleidocranial dysplasia. So like I told you, it is caused by RUNX2 gene, which is also known as CBF alpha gene. Now what are the full forms of these two? Runt related transcription factor 2 or core binding factor subunit alpha 1. So remember the uh, full forms as well. Now cleidocranial dysplasia is an autosomal dominant disorder and the three important features that are affected is clavicles it could be uh, hypoplastic or congenitally absent frontal fusion is impaired and teeth multiple missing teeth impacted teeth supernumerary teeth okay so there are these features of cleidocranial dysplasia we will not go into the clinical features much then coming to the other three options the first one is achondroplasia or achondrogenesis okay so in achondrogenesis what happens is uh, there is a defect in COL2A gene like I told you. Okay, so this gene provides the instructions for formation of type 2 collagen. Achondrogenesis. So in this case the patient will uh, have a shortening of arms and legs in relation to the trunk as you can see that is this kind of dwarfism that persist and the abnormal development of ribs, vertebra and other skeletal abnormalities. So overall the growth is stunted in achondrogenesis. Then the second option is chondrodysplasia, third option. Now chondrodysplasia is usually of three types, type 1, 2 and 3. Uh, it is also known as rhizomelic chondrodysplasia because of the rhizomelia. So the major features are skeletal dis. Uh, dysfunction and abnormalities, distinctive facial features as you can see over here, intellectual disability and respiratory problems. So here there is shortening of long bones, you can see the hands over here and uh, the thighs are also abnormally formed, deformed. Okay. Then there is a syndrome known as Conradi Hunerman syndrome. This syndrome is similar to uh, chondrodysplasia. It is known as chondrodysplasia syndrome. It affects the eye, skin, hair and nail also along with the stature. So the gene here responsible, three genes like I told you, PEX7, GNPAT and lastly AGPS. These three genes are responsible for chondrodysplasia. Then coming to Marfan syndrome, the third image. Marfan syndrome is tall build, abnormally long uh, hands and feet and leg, flexible joints, scoliosis, then hyperextensibility of joints, uh, chest that sinks in crowded teeth, flat feet. So all these are the features of Marfan syndrome and it is caused by mutation in FBN1 gene. So the question here talks about CBFA1 gene and the answer is cleidocranial dysplasia.